Well, howdy there, internet people. It's Nick. Uh, yeah, so... Bo, love your videos. Don't know if you'll see this. Yeah, I felt compelled to respond to your your video on... Um, let me look at the exact title here. Let's talk about the highest and lowest pain majors. You know, for the first... The beginning of it, with all the the engineering jobs, I was nodding along, you know, as I'm sure many were. Um, it's just like those are they're challenging jobs. It makes sense that they're paid well. But then as soon as you got to the lowest ten, it was it was a little, a little painful to hear. And not surprising, unfortunately, but definitely painful. And the ironic thing, um, I think probably uh, many people recognize is education is how you get to those higher paying jobs. So the better our foundational education, the more people will be better equipped to get into those higher paying jobs, which I think really just helps show how foundational education should be um, to to any prospering nation. I wanted to make this response to is a, a little bit on the solution. I mean, I'm just talking here, so I'm by no means an expert, but a super quick way to help with this is to pay educators a lot more. It's a hard job. It's not one that I've had a lot of interest in pursuing and uh, you know a big part of that might be because of the pay for sure because I you know making enough to be able to support my family comfortably is really important to me as I'm sure it is to many people so you know I think paying teachers more giving them the supplies they need and and it, it's just ridiculous that education is attacked so frequently as you, you mentioned in the video I the, the ironic thing is uh, many of these politicians, uh, mainly on the Republican side, that are attacking education and, you know, the feeling I get is that they're hoping to push for a society of people who just ha are just smart enough to do their jobs, but not so smart that they ask questions, which, sure, I can see why authoritarian minded people would want to move in that direction but it's i i think from from an outsider's perspective to that is it's so short-sighted you know all, all of the 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 jobs that they want staffed you know many of them are contributing to the the giant problems that we're facing in society today and just funneling more workers into those types of jobs is just going to continue to increase our issues when the one of the biggest things we could probably do for this country is get I, like you mentioned in the video get get people better educated so we can get just large swaths of people starting to look at these problems that we're facing across the country and the globe entirely and you know, start tackling them as a, in a unified manner. But it really does require education. So we we should probably focus on you know building this up from the ground up. Get get educators paid more. Get them all the supplies they need. You know, I, I have many family members that are educators, and seeing the amount of work they do, like at the house, like uh, working overtime. Pretty much every night to you know do lesson planning to to grade to just do all this kind of stuff that needs to be done to to support the kids but this all shouldn't be falling on the teacher's lap we you know teachers need to be paid more and they need you know uh assistance with with all this work and and those people assisting the teachers should also be paid well because it's so important and then you know school districts should be supplied well and 
you know, another point that you've made in many videos is no kids should go without lunches. Like, we should just pay for school lunches and breakfast, you know, what whatever kids need. I, I think that just feels so obvious to me. I would, I would happily pay a little more in taxes to make sure that every single kid is fed and, and taken care of, you know, and yeah, it, it's, it's a huge problem and I, you know, I really appreciated you bringing it up and it's something that I, I feel strongly about as well and wanted to um, touch on a little bit. I, I made a, I wrote a blog post about this. I'll, I'll post it below. It's maybe a little more concise than my rambles here, but yeah, I just, we, we need to be talking about this more for sure. Cause with, with all of our issues in, in this country, I think education is, is one of the, if not the most important that'll help move the needle. I mean, we're talking if we improved our education system, we could see some drastic shifts in, in just a number of years. Plus, not to mention, like, like if we started feeding kids now, just if we just did that, made sure every kid at school had all the food they need without worrying about the money aspect of it, then that would improve educational outcomes in of itself. It's just we have all of these things that get in the way of being able to properly absorb your education and you know we should be providing extracurriculars and, and another thing like th we need to focus more on teaching kids how to learn instead of just you know force feeding them uh, equations and that, not that math isn't important, it is, it definitely is, but I, I think we need to reconsider some some of the foundations of our, our learning principles to make sure that going forward, you know, kids know how to uh, deal with problems that they can uh, address objectively instead of getting emotional and making a rash decision. You know, this is all stuff that can be taught, some mindfulness practices, and uh, I would just, I would love to start seeing, you know, money getting funneled into education, giving educators some freedom to start rebuilding the curriculum so that we can help, help kids tackle bigger problems as they get older and, and are, are put out into the uh, you know, the everyday world that, that we, we face and, and there are many unexpected problems that come up and being able to tackle them in an educated and, you know, being able to detach so you, you aren't automatically responding emotionally, you have, you have time to think about it logically and, and like the, this stuff would, would lead to so many improvements in our society and I... Yeah, I just wanted to make this just to say all that, and and I'm, I I think I totally think we can do this. Like there are brilliant educators in this country, and you know they are just filled with compassion, and the the fact that so many of them still do these jobs that are significantly underpaid, overworked, and frankly aren't very well appreciated. Um, by administrators, by parents, it, they're, they're just, you know, I don't blame anyone who's burnt out and left the system because it is not treating them very well right now. So, you know, we need to work on that. And, and I think, you know, obviously just, I, I think this is a problem. We're just putting more money into it could make a big difference. We just need to make sure the money goes into the right place. Number one, teacher salaries. Number two, supplies for kids, including food for kids. Kids should be able to go to school and be fed, even if their parents are struggling. That's not their fault. Um, you know, and, and, you know, based on our system, often it's not the parents' fault either. 
So we th this stuff should just be baked in. I don't I don't know why it's a debate. Kids should be fed and educated and given space to grow and sort of choose their own direction. Because you know what I found in my adult life is the whatever pursuit I've I've been drawn to to learn has taught me you know invaluable lessons that I, I I didn't get from school and and so I just feel like letting kids follow their curiosity is is a pathway to success I mean obviously we do need some foundational curriculum to make sure they understand math science and 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 just general problem solving and habit building and like you know the mindfulness like i th i think all of this needs to be integrated into our education system to give kids the best shot going forward and to help have more well-rounded adults um going forward yeah i don't know if you'll see this bell but if you do, thanks again for everything you do. I really appreciate your videos. Uh, it's, it, I, I find them very, even, even when you're covering tough topics, it's very, um, calming for me to be able to just hear a logical breakdown of what's happening and, and what it means and what should be done about it. So yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching. And yeah, yeah, this is, just something I felt like doing, felt compelled to talk about. So, hope you guys have a good one, and uh, you know, let me know if you disagree with anything. I'm I'm open to counter arguments. Um, uh, it'll be you'll be hard pressed to convince me on on the general approach that needs to happen, but the details on how to get there, I'm very open to. You know, I I know I have. I have a big vision for change, but I know there's going to be a lot of incremental steps along the way to get there. And I, you know, we should, uh, feed kids. We should definitely feed kids. I would be hundred percent on board with starting with that, making sure kids are fed, uh, across, I mean, the whole world preferably, but you can start here, start in the U S we shouldn't have kids going hungry in the U S period, or any people, really, but that's a topic for another discussion. Uh, thanks again for watching.